Christmas is over and it's time to get my ass in gear because it is SJT next week. Let's get some better light in this joint. So let me explain. SJT stands for Situational Judgment Test and it is a massive exam that we do in the UK in our final year of medical school. Um, it accounts for 50% of your overall application to your first job as a doctor. The other 50% coming from all of the exams you've done in the rest of your medical school career. <laughs> so it's a huge exam and it is exactly as it's named, a situational judgment test. So the exam basically consists of a whole series of different situations in a clinical setting. And following each question is a list of different responses or actions you can take. Um, in that given situation and you have to order them from most appropriate to least appropriate and get every single step of the way in the right order so it's <laughs> um, it uses a different part of your brain to the one you're using when you're studying molecular pharmacology um, and from what I've heard you can't really prepare for it using books it's more you kind of have to have been on the ward for the last four years sorry you can't cram now <laughs> So I'm going to just hope that I've done enough, but I am also going to read a little document that I've been told is good. I'll show you just now. It's a good medical practice. Um, it's a document produced by the GMC, General Medical Council, and it aims to give you a sort of uh, a ten commandments, or so, well, a million commandments on how to be a good doctor when you start work. So um, I'll read through that, make some notes, and then the other major piece of advice is that you do the only mock which is available online on the website <laughs> and apparently it has really good um, you know explanation of the answers and stuff so that's gonna be fun I'm gonna crack on I feel like you know in those um, videos where it's like welcome to my home and it's an old man sort of sat in an armchair with a pipe and there's like a nice bookcase except it's just me in my lonely student room <laughs> with my mug cheers just on the train leaving London. I've got my SJT next Monday, so I'm doing a little bit of reading of this document. Good medical practice. I'm using the iPad Pro to make some notes alongside, which is actually a really helpful function. Here we go. Today has been a big day. I am exhausted. <laughs> SJT this morning. Um, that was tough. It was so long, two hours and 20 minutes. I don't think I realized um, just how long it was gonna feel. And I finished with two minutes to spare in a two hour and 20 minute exam. That is cutting it fine. But it's all done. And we did our GMC, General Medical Council, registration ID check in the afternoon. Um, starting ourselves on the track to signing our souls away. <laughs> um, and just catching up with the course mates who I haven't seen in a long time because we're all placed at different hospitals which was so good, oh I miss them. So yeah, lots of emotion. And then a five hour journey back to Guildford via Portsmouth from Southampton. It's midnight now, I've just eaten a cereal bar, sat on my bed amongst my belongings, and I'm probably gonna sleep in this coat. <laughs> so good night. One of the best things about living in England is that we have Europe literally at our doorstep. So even for minor little celebrations like finishing an exam this week, just jet off to another country for the weekend. So we're off to Lisbon, aren't we, Sam? <laughs>